Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we had a great question. Somebody asked us how do you add an extra bar on top of your Bootstrap website nav bar here. They wanted to add a section up the top to put their email and some social media icons up there. And you think it's pretty straightforward. It actually is pretty straightforward, but there's a couple of things you've got to bear in mind. So I'll show you how to do it. It's real easy. I'm going to open my text editor here, brackets. If you don't have a text editor, brackets is absolutely free. You can download it from a link below the video. I'm going to hit a new bootstrap template. A new bootstrap template is one of the free plugins you can get for brackets. And here it is. Now let's just save this so I can show you exactly what we've got here. So I'm going to save it in my little folder. I'm going to call it index.html. Okay, there it is in my little folder. So let's open it up in the browser. Double click on it. And here we are. Here we, we've got our regular bootstrap sort of starter template with a nav bar at the top bit of content underneath. We want to add a little section on the top, something like that. Okay, so if we go back into our code editor here, and we look down, you'd think just here's the nav bar with brackets. If you click on the opening tag, it'll show you the closing tag, which is really handy. You'd think you'd be able to just put a, a section on top of this. Well, you can do that, but it's not going to work. So let's build a section. Inside our section, we'll, we'll put a div. And we want to give our div a class of rows so we can have something in there or a couple of different columns. Okay, so we want to put a couple of columns inside there. So let's do a div for the class. Col dash mid six, so it'll be half the width of the available browser field there. And I'm going to copy that and do exactly the same underneath. So we've got two divs right there, and in between, obviously, is where you want to put your email address and whatever it is you want to put on the other side, social media icons or phone number. So let's go ahead and put some something in there. I'm going to put some paragraph tags in there and put an email address. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Alright, so you'd think you'd have a section there with a couple of little bits of text in there. Let's save that and see what we've actually got. So let's hit Control S to save. Let's go back to our site here and refresh and see what we've got. We've got absolutely nothing. Nothing's changed at all. It is actually there, but it's behind that nav bar. Because this is fixed to the top of the nav bar, it's not budging. You can put whatever you like behind there. It's not going to budge from the top. So let's go back to our code editor and fix that issue. Okay, if we drop down just a little bit right here. So let's go to just after fix top here, after the inverted comma there, bit of space, and we'll say style equals a couple of inverted commas. And inside, I'm going to give it a margin dash top of say, let's give it 50 picks, that'll probably do for what we want here. That should give it enough breathing room to add a little bar in the top there. Might even be too much. Let's save that now and see if it's made any difference. Control S to save. And back to the site. Great. 
Well, as you can see there, I've got something there and something there. We've got two columns because we made a medium six. There's actually two columns that fill two halves of the screen there and the text is aligned left. So that's why it looks like that. Okay, well, let's decorate it a bit so it looks a little bit more interesting. So as you can see, we've made our space there. And let's give our row here a little background color, shall we? And we can use the bootstrap classes. It's a background. We'll make it blue like the other one. So that's BG primary. And the thing with primary is going to be that blue color. And we'll make the text inside of it light. So we'll say text light because that'll stand out better against that blue background. Okay, and here's our text here. It's a line left, which is fine, but it really needs a bit of space on the left-hand side because it was sort of squashed up against the side, and you don't really want that. So let's use another Bootstrap 4 class to help it out a little bit. We'll say padding left 2, so that's PL dash two it goes from one to five five being the largest amount one being the least and i think it's in m's which is the size of your your default paragraph text i believe okay and the other one we want this text to be on the right rather than the left so we'll give it the class of text right because at the moment sitting in the middle of our thing instead of being over here on the right hand side where we want it that's if you do want it there if not leave it where it is <laughs> text rights that's fine and i guess we don't want it all the way up against the thing because it'll be like the other one but let's take that two up to five a bit more padding there and this one we'll put some padding on the right so we're padding p right r dash five two okay let's save that and see what we got that should have sorted out the text and given our bar a bit of color there fantastic well you can actually see those a bit better now but i think i'd like to them to be a bit further down and we've got to sort out that little gap at the bottom there so let's go back to our code editor and we'll put a bit of padding on the top of this one. Don't think we need too much. We'll say padding P top T. And we'll try two on that one. And let's drop our actual margin top back down to maybe, I don't know, 40 picks might do it. Control S to save. Let's go back to that site. Refresh, bingo. Yeah, that's okay. The text is kind of where we want it. You can read everything nicely. That bar's buffered up against it there. So there, that's pretty much job done. So that's how you actually do it. Like I say, you'd think you could just bang a section on top of the nav bar, but because it's fixed, you can't do that. You have to add that bit of margin top to drop it down a little bit. So I hope that's answered your question, and I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day